Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we will continue our series on NIP loading systems with a discussion of perhaps the most neglected area of all, namely loading system friction. The concerns with friction are many. First, it is not possible to achieve low or light values of NIP loading when friction is excessive. Second, it is not possible to achieve low NIP load variability when friction is excessive. This simply means that the NIP load is not well controlled and that may affect your product or process. Third, it is not possible to calibrate a NIP load system without defining zero first, which is normally one end of the friction band. Finally, NIP calibration is one of the most neglected areas of control system design and maintenance. While it would be risky to accept a load cell reading without occasional calibration checks, NIPs are almost never checked. In part, this is due to an inexcusable lack of attention by the machine builder to document procedures in their service manual. In part, this is cultural. Grandpa didn't do it, so you probably didn't either. Looking at the generic figure from the last clip, we will work entirely on the fixed side for this experiment. Your nip and your cylinder may be at some other angle and control strategy. Simply adapt the principles taught here. What is required is a way to simply regulate the pressure on one side of the cylinder. On older machinery, this would be nothing more than a regulator. On newer machinery, computers and interlocks can conspire to make this a true challenge, yet it is worth the effort. Be safe. All of this work can and should be done with personnel distant from the moving nip. We begin with zero pressure on the rod side of our example control system. Then, we ever so slowly raise the pressure until the nip just starts to open. We record that value, say 60 PSI for this demo example. Then we ever so slowly lower the pressure until the nip just starts to close. We record that value, say 40 PSI for this demo example. We take the difference between the open and close pressures and do two simple calculations on it. First, we multiply by the cross-sectional area of the rod end of the cylinder, in our case, to give total force. Second, we multiply that total force once again by the lever arm to get the force at the nip where the product is. This beautifully simple experiment gives us total friction, that is the sum of the pivot, the cylinders, the regulators, piping, and everything else. Friction, in short, is the sum total of the uncertainty or variability of the nip loading system. However, this is merely a number without one final easy step. That is, to compare the total friction to the control load seen on the product that we will calibrate in the next clip. If the friction is more than 10% of control, we may want to consider another step or two because that is not impressive quality for a control system. It may be that your friction is higher than you like, meaning the NIP process is more variable than you like. Then we need two more steps. The first is to measure the size of the friction of each of the major components. This can be done with some clever hooking and unhooking of parts. However, in most swinging systems, the highest friction will be the piston seal. In translational systems timed with gears and especially chains, those components plus the slides could be all candidates. When you find the biggest culprit, it will seldom be a matter of adding oil. Instead, a redesign is likely needed. 
One would be to go to swinging systems. Another would be to go from pneumatics to hydraulics. There may be many other options depending on your specific situation. Zero nip is usually defined as the pressure just required to close the nip. The reasons are quite practical. Waste, delay, and safety may all be risked if the nip bounces open and then does not close on its own. This clip uses a simple example nip. You may have to adapt the procedure to your own specific situation, such as if all the work is done on the control side. In the next clip, we will describe how to calibrate the gain of the nip loading system. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Stay tuned for more clips on nips and other web handling topics.